Greetings, everyone. I'm Jackie Vernon Thompson, your etiquette expert. We're located here in South Florida. However, we teach students internationally all about proper etiquette. We're going to discuss a topic today that's really interesting and many people do not consider it. We're going to talk about how to sit like a lady. It's very important for women to understand that just because you are a female doesn't automatically make you a lady. A lady demonstrates ladylike behavior. A lady is conscious of her conduct toward others. A lady is conscious of the words she uses. A lady is conscious of her behavior and how it affects and impacts those around her. So today we're going to talk about sitting properly and sitting like a lady. If you notice, sometimes you will see a lady sitting with her legs crossed, which is knee over knee. Uh, that's not the proper way ladies should sit. A lady doesn't sit that way because once she crosses her legs, her outer thigh can be exposed. Also, her undergarments can be exposed depending on what she's wearing. If she's wearing a dress or a skirt, we all know that once we sit, the skirt or dress may rise a bit. Therefore, when she crosses her legs, her outer thigh can be exposed. And then there's that little peephole underneath where you can see her undergarments. Now, our beautiful ladies love to wear their Spanx. There's so many different sizes, different shapes, Spanx, and different colors. I've witnessed countless times ladies crossing their legs and their Spanx are exposed. So it's important, ladies, that we do not cross our legs in order to remain proper, in order not to expose. So the proper way to sit as a lady is, there are a few of them actually. One, you can sit straight forward, your knees locked, feet locked, everything closed. The objective of a lady when sitting, when uh, exiting a car, when entering a car is to keep her legs closed. So in this case, you can sit straight forward, knees locked, feet locked. Of course, always posture upright. Now, if you like to cross something, cross your ankles. It's very important for you to cross your ankles and it will help you to keep your legs closed. You don't have to cross your ankles, but sometimes we have that mindset that we want to cross something. So cross your ankles, that's appropriate. Now, another way you can sit is at a slant, either slant to the right or to the left, and then you can cross your ankles there making sure the foreleg, once you turn to a slant, the leg that's forward is what you it used to uh, pull the other foot back so that your feet will be aligned with your buttocks. So your feet and your buttocks should be straight down, aligned along with the other. Okay, we don't wanna cross our ankles and our feet are straight ahead of us. You cross your ankles, pull the feet back and make sure they're aligned with your buttocks. Of course, without sounding like a broken record, making sure your posture is upright and it is straight, yes. So ladies, just this brief video of how a lady sits and how she should present herself. Of course, crossing the legs knee over knee may look cute, However, it's just improper for our ladies. Now, this is not for everyone because everyone is not able, sometimes due to medical conditions or uh, certain aches or whatever uh, you may experience, you may not be able to sit this way, but I encourage you, do not sit crossing your legs, knee over knee, that's not ladylike. And before we end, remember, as always, every female, is not necessarily a lady. A lady decides to be a lady. She decides how she's going to conduct herself. She's conscious of it. She's aware of her behavior. She's aware of her language. She's aware of her entire conduct. That's a lady.
Thank you so much. Again, this is Jackie Vernon Thompson, owner of From the Inside Out School of Etiquette, an international etiquette expert. Have a wonderful day.